Money World El mundo quiere dinero Money World Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm here today at Rose Studios, downtown Los Angeles. I am going to be shooting Ella Halikas and Olivia Ponton, and I'm gonna show you guys how to pose two models together with two different body types. We've got a full team today. We've got a stylist, we've got hair, makeup, and a creative director, and I'm excited to bring you guys along and show you guys what we come up with. With that being said, I've linked everybody down in the description down below, so make sure you check them out. Hit the little bell button so you don't miss any of my future uploads. Like and subscribe, and let's get right into the video. For this shoot, I wanted everything to be classic and timeless, so I worked with my creative director, Ellen, to create a mood board to share with the team so that we were all on the same page. When choosing a team to work with, it's really important that everyone is on board with the concept, but flexible and also open to your suggestions. When you have a specific vision that you're trying to execute, it's important to work with your team to communicate that vision and make sure that everyone is on board and on the same page with everything. When you're working with a creative director, you can divvy up the tasks a bit and they can help you with this, but it is important to communicate with everybody and keep everyone in line with the vision. So my creative director and I reviewed the wardrobe with the stylist and we fine-tuned all the looks to make sure that it all went together nicely. For the first look, I wanted a powerful pose of both of the models together. We chose the black and white bikinis to represent the yin and the yang. In ancient Chinese philosophy, yin and yang is a concept of dualism. It describes how obviously opposite or contrary forces may actually be complementary and how they may give rise to each other as they interrelate to one another. This concept just added to the power of two strong women side by side, lifting each other up, which just elevates the images even more. Do not give myself the When shooting in a studio, since there isn't much going on in the background, sometimes it's nice to use additional elements to create more unique and interesting shapes with the poses. So we put Olivia on this white box and we had her sit on it and I really liked the different levels and the mood that this added to the image. Every time I shoot, I like to get a variety of shots with different poses, different crops, different angles. I like to get some tight shots as well as some full body shots that showcase the full outfit. And I love getting shots that make the model's legs look really long. I do this by shooting from a low angle with a wide focal length. Here, I'm shooting with the RF 28 to 70 millimeter lens as wide as it goes at 28 millimeters. And you can see how it lengthens and accentuates their long legs. I also wanted to pose the girls together in ways that showcased both of their body types. Growing up, I wasn't really exposed to any curve models and I really only saw one body type in magazines and in media. We were conditioned to think that this was the standard and one thing that I love about Ella is the confidence that she exudes and her mission to change the standard within this industry to be more inclusive of all body types. A lot of the time I find that some of the best shots are actually unplanned. I love improvising as I go and as you flow with the shoot you may get ideas or see things that will just make the shoot even better. It's important to be receptive to other team members, especially when working with a creative director, as they may have ideas that can add to the shoot as well. This is also why I take a lot more photos than I actually need. I take what I call safety shots in case the model's eyes are closed or she's in between expressions. And I find that shooting in this way allows the models to move freely and allows me to capture more genuine moments and expressions. I also love capturing motion as I feel it adds more energy to the photos. For this shot, we set up a fan to blow on them as they walk towards the camera and I shot from a low angle and a wider focal length again to accentuate their long legs. Really 
Although we were focused on getting shots of the two girls together, I definitely wanted to take advantage of the opportunity of getting individual shots of each girl because the hair, makeup, wardrobe, everything was so on point that I felt like it was important that each girl walked away with some individual shots to add to their portfolios. I can't stress enough the importance of having an amazing team on board to execute your vision. Ultimately, this is all a team effort and it's really fun to come together with other creatives that you respect and make something beautiful. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys learned something about how to pose two models together. Woo! Olivia just had to run. We've got Ella here. Yes. Um, I had Paige on makeup, Sherilyn on hair, Ellen with creative direction, and Stephanie on styling. And then we've got the amazing Thomas Copeland Jr. behind on video. Uh, make sure you follow everybody and check out their links in the description down below. And join us next time for the next video. Thanks for watching. Money work. El mundo quiere dinero. Money work.